Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is VideoCat, and in this video I'm going to show you how to summon your own custom monsters, such as this guy, without the use of code. Alright, here we go. I'm going to take this nice and slow for all you new guys. We're going to start out with one command block, and we're going to start with test four, alright, that essentially says, well, look for something, alright, now we have to tell it what to test for, test for at E, at entity, okay, entity is anything that flies, rolls, moves, floats, something that moves around, okay, at entity, type equals whatever mob you want to start with, let's do the sheep, because I already have the sheep egg, test for entity at E, type sheep, now, where are we going to search for it, if we wanted to search the entire world, okay, We'll just do like maybe R equals, I don't know, 10, 100,000, billion, you know, okay? But for our purposes, purposes <laughs> R is going to equal a radius, okay? Radius of 10 blocks out from the center of the command block, okay? Comma, everything separated by commas. Test for type equals sheep, okay? We're going to throw a comparator on there. And redstone signal. And we're going to redstone torch. Every time I get a torch. And we're going to test for and see if a sheep is within 10 blocks. Look at that, it is. The uh, command block found it. Let's kill it. Is there a sheep within 10 blocks? No, there is no sheep within 10 blocks. That's amazing, okay. Am I going too fast for you? Hope not, because we're gonna keep going on. Now, our next command is gonna be execute, okay? Execute, that does not mean kill. <laughs> it means do something, okay? So we're gonna do something at E, type, oops, type, <sighs> Never spell that right. Type equals sheep. Do something at a sheep at a distance of whoops. A distance of everywhere. Okay? So it's gonna search for everywhere as those utilities. Space. What are we going to do at the sheep? We are going to summon the skeleton. I just have that copy and pasted here. Let's change that very quickly to zero. You ready? Oh, haha! It only emits one thing of signal. I forgot about that. Generally, you want to throw a repeater right on top of the comparator. No sheep around. Powered off. Now let's put a sheep back. Okay, here we go. You ready? Look at that. Summoned a skeleton right on top of the sheep. No commands. No codes. Nothing. Okay? Now, you might be thinking, hey, wait a second. Wouldn't that kind of defeat the purpose if you went and had to hit a button every time? And I will tell you no. No, absolutely not. All right. We're going to get a little sidetracked for a second. I'm going to show you something awesome. There is a way to make one of these. And pause while I build it. There is a way to make one of these that's not lag intensive in the slightest, because if you have a bunch of these running, let's say on a really laggy you and your players, there is a way to make one of these with only one block, and it moves much faster than any of those ever could. And we're going to do it like this. Set block at, I'm pretty sure this is a negative one, we'll figure that out, redstone, block, zero, destroy, don't ask me what zero destroy means, I have no idea, I just know it works, let's see, ah, that put in the wrong place, Please. there we go, one, so that's on the z-axis, okay, we want that right in the middle, okay, now, we're going to set block, doot, ah, doot, doot, and negative one, because the other one was positive, air, all right, then we're just gonna throw, whoops, do do do, redstone block. Then we're gonna throw a block in the middle. Now, did something cool, okay? It vanished, but what you actually don't know, say, test, is that it's constantly making a clock. I mean, look, it's really, really fast, okay? So, we will make one of those so it'll constantly be searching for sheep, okay? But now we have a problem. If we want to summon a bunch of skeletons, the sheep are going to essentially overwrite themselves. So how do we fix it? We have to get rid of the sheep somehow. So what we're gonna do is, first of all, we're gonna wipe out all these sheep. What we're gonna do is we are going to nest it. We're gonna kind of chain this reaction, a button, chain this reaction to a kill entity uh, type equals Sheep. So not only is it going to spawn a skeleton, but it's also going to kill the sheep. I'm going to place a repeater there. Let's try it. Beautiful. Now, allow me to show you how this works in action. I have created two command block systems for each one of these monsters. 
Here's one of them, looks pretty familiar, right? And here's the other, right? Okay. Now, whenever we spawn a villager, it's going to do this. Oh, you see that? This is my own custom monster that I created, and I'll probably put the code for him in the d description. He's a buffed up zombie that doesn't get hurt by knockback, all right? And I can make this as many times as I want. Which means I can give the summoner in adventure mode, I can give him spawn eggs and he can make these. So we're going to do a quick kill at entity type equals zombie. Oops. Ah. Ah. Forgot. Kill at entity type zombie. There we go. Very nice. And next I have one for a wolf. Let's uh, time set 40,000. There we go. Next I have one for a wolf that turns into a skeleton and he's a striker right they move very very fast so when you're in game mode zero they do this they don't have a lot of health but they're kind of hard to fight because they move around all over the place anyway guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time let me know if you have any questions